Hello my dear students welcome to you all in the DV Moin Public School Sita Songi e learning classes for standard 6th subject mathematics and our today's topic is introduction to algebra in this lesson we learn today like terms and unlike terms now let's begin with our first topic like terms see the variables in these terms 3x, 8x, minus 12x, 2 by 9x, minus 11x. In this, we have variable x and which is x. So, in every term, we have x. So, this is like term or that variable is a same. That means this term is like term. Terms having the same variables are called like terms. Now, unlike terms, see the variables in these terms 6x, 8y, minus 57z, 19 by 63y square, minus 1z square. Here, in all the terms, we have variable different x, y, z, y square, z square. These all variables are different. So, terms having the different variables are called unlike terms. Now let us learn about the name of expressions. Look at the table. Expression 9x. Number of terms 1. And name of the expression is monomial. Next is minus 3x plus 4z. Number of terms are 2. And the name of expression is binomial. Next 8a minus 17b plus 2c. Here the number of terms are 3. Number of expression, trinomial. Next, P plus 8Q minus 7R plus 15. Number of terms, 4. And number of, name of expression is quadrinomial. Look at some examples. 3X plus 2Y minus 6. Here we have 3 terms. So we call it as trinomial. Here next is 3x plus 2y minus 4x but here we have 3x minus 4x. Here the variables are same that means it is a like term. So this expression is a binomial expression. Then next is minus a plus 2b minus 3c plus 4a. Here minus a plus 4a both the terms are like terms. So here we have three terms total. Then this term is, this expression is trinomial expression. Now the next topic is addition of algebraic expression. In this first we learn about the addition of monomial. Example 1, add 3x, 7x, x. Solution, 3x plus 7x plus x is equal to here the variables are same. So we add the coefficient of that variables. So we write 3 plus 7 plus 1 outside the bracket x. Why adding numerical coefficient of each monomial. 3 plus 7 plus 1 we get 11x. Variable is the same. Here the variables are same. Now the example 2. Add 4a, 3b, minus 2a, 6b, 5a. Solution, 4a plus 3b minus 2a plus 6b plus 5a. We have unlike terms here. So first we have to regroup the like terms. 4a minus 2a plus 5a in the first bracket and on the second bracket 3b plus 6b. So, in the first bracket, variables are same. So, we write 4 minus 2 plus 5 of A plus 3 plus 6 of B. 4 minus 2 plus 5, we get 7A. 3 plus 6, we get 9B. So, these are the examples of monomials. 
Now the second addition is addition of binomials. Look at the example. Add 5a plus 2b and 3a minus 12b solution. Addition can be performed by two methods. Here we can perform the two methods of addition, column method and horizontal method. First we see the column method. First you have to arrange the numbers or the terms in the column form. So first you write 5a plus 2b and then 3a minus 12b. So uh, like terms along with sign are arranged in. You have to arrange the like terms in the column. Column 1 below the other. 2b minus 12b. We get minus 10b. 5a plus 3a. We got 8a. Here how we write this. 5 plus 3 a that means we got 8a and on the right side 2 plus of bracket minus 12b so we got minus 10b now look at the horizontal method 5a plus 2b plus 3a minus 12b so first we have to arrange the like terms so 5a plus 3a plus 2b minus 12b then solve these brackets 5a plus 3a, 8a, 2b minus 12b, we got minus 10b. Now addition of trinomials. Look at the example, add minus 4x square plus y square minus 3, 5y square plus 2x square plus 5, 2x square minus 8y square. Here also we have two methods, column method and horizontal method. So look at the column method. Minus 4x square plus y square minus 3. 2x square plus 5y square plus 5. 2x square minus 8y square. We arrange the, uh, the terms in column. Then add minus 3 plus 5. We got plus 2. Next. Uh, y square plus 5 minus 8. We got 2y square. The next minus 4 plus 2 plus 2. We got 0x square. So the total answer is 0x square plus 2y square plus 2. The next is horizontal method. Write on the horizontal. Then regroup all the like terms. 4y uh, minus 4x square plus 2x square plus 2x square then y square plus y square minus 8y square then minus 3 plus 5 so from the first bracket we got 0x square then minus 2x square then plus 2 so 0x square we write nothing so minus 2x square plus 2 is the answer Anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So, 0 x square is omitted. I hope you all are understand our today's topic very well. According to this topic, I am giving you an assignment. You have to write it in your maths notebook. Thank you students. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.